Hey everybody, Mike here from the Net Talker Tips. Today is another day for you to see another wonderful video. So in this video, you'll learn how to use the Touch VPN, which can be downloaded through the Play Store. So let's open up Play Store and here at the top, search in Touch VPN. Touch VPN. So this one. And here it is. So as you can see, I already installed it on this phone. Best VPN, free and limited VPN. So as you can see, I have installed it already to speed up this video process. So the ratings and reviews are quite good, 4.3. And let's take a closer look at the sample images here. So again, this application, the Touch VPN, which is a free VPN proxy and Wi-Fi privacy. So as you can see, connect free with one tap, secure Wi-Fi connections, and so much more. So let's go ahead and open this application. So you first you have to install it, and once, you're in, once you have done install, installing it, then open up. So I just want to let you know the Touch VPN automat automatically turns public Wi-Fi into safe and secure private Wi-Fi. Your mobile security, privacy, and personal information will be protected from hackers, identity theft, and other malicious activities when we detect a public Wi-Fi network. So, you, for example, if you're in a cafe, you don't recognize, or if you want to connect to some someone's Wi-Fi, I highly recommend using a VPN to, to secure your phone and your privacy. So. Again, uh, I highly recommend this if you're going to connect to other Wi-Fi's. But if you're at home, then this is not necessary. So if you're in a public Wi-Fi, which is not safe, anything you send or receive on mobile devices on public Wi-Fi can be intercepted, which makes your personal information, such as your passwords, pictures, app data, and private and other private information, vulnerable to hackers. So that's why I recommend using a VPN. So let's go ahead and try this. So as you can see, it's this is the the you don't have to log in to create an account. You don't have to. It will automatically appear. This will be this is the dashboard or the main screen. So you can connect. As you can see right now, I am in the Philippines and best choice. Let's select other locations. So here is the list available. Let's try Japan. And then connect so it's going to take some time since it's going to connect to the server so this is really handy if you're going to connect to someone else someone else Wi-Fi so that's it it's now connected so as you can see you're now browsing from Japan and the incoming speed is 449 between 40s and 60s which is, which is good and the outgoing is around 50 to 60 okay encryption is enabled as well so you can also use the improve your app speed you can improve bandwidth but to me I'm not going to do that since since I'm fine with the settings so let's try to go to the settings here as you can see anonymous I don't have I don't I don't create an account so as you can see I did not create an account so you can sign in or create an account if you want to but to me I'm not going to do that so apps control this is where you can okay let's do that permission access you need to enable it so once you, once you are done enabling it then you can control the apps any application that you want to use a VPN automatically then use the app con apps control touch VPN for Chrome if you're going to use this your Chrome browser will automatically use the touch VPN share app you can share this to your friends through social media send feedback to the creator settings let's try checking the settings and notify me if I connect to unprotected Wi-Fi so that to so the default is it's, it's turned on for 
for the default and this is also good anything in here is the default so I'm not going to change any any of these I like the, the theme as well so if you want to improve your app speed let's try that scan so speeding up apps disabling unused apps clearing cache apps data wiping partition so that's how easy it is you can also improve your bandwidth let's try that right now it is 36 percent let's try to scan it to reduce bandwidth consumption clearing cache clearing up cache checking connections data consumption is optimized so okay now we can try to browse in and we'll check I'm going to open a browser let me just minimize it and let me open let me open my Chrome Chrome browser and so as you can see it's in Japan if you notice here at the bottom it says Japan okay so I'm now searching I'm now in Japan so it's like I'm searching in Japan I'm somewhere in Japan I'm searching something in here okay so it is successful you can change this let's go back in here and you can change the settings I'm sorry the location so if you think Japan is a little bit slower then you can find other other servers or other connections so Australia Canada Denmark France Germany Hong Kong you can choose any of these these countries that you can see in here but Japan is okay so I'm not going to change it so again that's how easy it is to use this application and you can if you want to stop using uh, this application just select this stop and it will stop or disconnect your VPN so that's how easy it is you can also share it if you want to so that's how easy it is to use this VPN and again this is highly advisable if you're on the unprotected Wi-Fi hotspot or if you're on a different or a public Wi-Fi which is not saved so I highly recommend using this application so I also want to add that this is a free VPN 100% free no credit card information needed no trials offered unlimited truly unlimited no session speed or bandwidth limitations and also it can unblock the world with just one touch of the connect button which you have seen earlier and it uh, is also secured which uses strong SSL encryption which will make you fully anonymous and secured and again this is really helpful if you want to be secured your connection and that's it for today. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.